Good day and welcome to another Vampire Survivors video. In this video we're going to be basically uh, clearing up some of the challenges that we haven't done, seeing if we can get some victories, and yeah, just basically having a good time. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is a couple things. So in this run, hopefully we're going to get a win with Poe, get him to level 80, uh, and also hopefully we're going to be able to get to the coffin. Uh, so quite a lot that we want to do. Uh, the coffin is located over here, past the stone mask. Uh, and Poe is one of those characters that's really good uh, for a lot of players. And the reason is because of garlic. Uh, so garlic is incredibly powerful uh, as a beginner tool and just as a weapon in general. And it's one of those abilities that's really, really, really powerful. Uh, for a couple of reasons. So firstly, it's not directional. It being non-directional means that the player has to put less effort into thinking about where to fire the weapon uh, and more effort into positioning themselves away from the enemy, uh, which is obviously something that's pretty important. Now, of course, uh, that's not the only reason why it's good, but it's a big part of the reason why. Uh, the fact that you can just kind of stand there and let the enemies come to you also makes life a little bit easier. So it's one of those things. Now, of course, you know, in terms of like uh, the general you know, applications of garlic, garlic is one of those abilities whereby the scaling is not great. So it's quite powerful early game, but it falls off quite substantially uh, later on, which is why generally speaking, you it's not something I would say is super duper powerful but it's great for beginners to start with uh, because of the fact that it does so much uh, in terms of just like general application and strength uh, we're also going to try and upgrade it uh, well I don't think we can but yeah uh, garlic is one of those abilities that you know realistically speaking is just very very reliable and the reason why it feels so overpowered is because of the fact that essentially uh, what it does is it, yeah, barring the directional side of things, is it provides a lot of mitigation to the bigger strengths that a lot of the enemies uh, in Vampire Survivors has, which is swarming. Uh, swarming and positioning of the player character is the most important aspect of these games. Uh, it's not like you have much else to aim or do uh, so where you position yourself and how you move around the map is very important and when you have the ability to uh, do a little kind of stun or mini stun or knockback or whatever you want to call it to the enemy and just kind of run through them it tends to help so yeah uh, that's kind of what makes garlic really work so well uh, you'll see that I have just kind of been picking up random things um, which is, yeah, uh, yeah in, s in some circles it might be considered a, a little bit, uh, how can I say, uh, irresponsible, but uh, I do have a, a plan going on here, kind of. Um, we can't evolve garlic, so that's just going to kind of stay as it is. We'll pick up the cooldown for the magic wand from the left-hand side. Uh, we'll get a tractor orb. Uh, Lightning ring, I'm not too worried about evolving. Uh, and yeah, we'll we'll definitely get there uh, in terms of uh, everything, just eventually. But yeah, uh, so Garlic and Poe tend to feel very strong and suck the first time that, that the player, or you know, the player who's playing as a player character, uh, will feel you know this ability to maneuver uh, easily. And when you consider that the first two stages don't have overt ranged enemies, which is one of the bigger kind of issues that Garlic faces, then it tends to feel pretty good uh, across the board, you know, at least from my side. Which you can kind of see uh, already it is kind of, I don't want to say failing, but it's already suffering a little bit from damage fall off, which is fine. Uh, like I said, if it was super OP in the beginning, uh, it will continue to be super duper duper OP, it would be a bit of a problem. But yeah, essentially, 
the way it is is it's great early game and then it will naturally start to fall off uh, but we have items that will kind of take its place but I would say garlic is definitely a fan favorite and for obvious reasons it's really just one of the abilities that makes your your life a lot easier um, do we take duplicator uh, I've got kind of I guess uh, yeah we take duplicator it's fine um, so yeah it's definitely it's definitely a considerable weapon but I think it's the nature of it that really makes people um, really enjoy using it you know I think it's, it's really one of those things uh, what are we gonna get we're gonna get axes and then we're gonna get fire wand or whip or something uh, I think we'll do that yeah seems fine to me shall we go no we're almost there we'll just go right first and then grab the the cooldown later on it's the same thing with duplicator and why duplicator is so powerful as a secondary for a lot of people uh, duplicator increases your uh, like every weapon like certain uh, key items are incredibly powerful for a lot of builds and those are things like duplicator because any ranged weapon uh, Santa's water inferno wand the magic wand like any of these uh, really tend to there we go perfect uh, tend to benefit from you know just the whole nature of um, extra projectiles and there's so many weapons benefit from it that you can very easily create a lot of synergy with it and it's very similar to like cooldown cooldown affects the vast majority of weapons so by essentially giving yourself cooldown we're looking for axes axes or pentagram or whip whichever one pops up first i'm not going to be picky preferably whip i guess but yeah you know it's this concept of um cooldown being so useful that it in inherently creates uh, so much synergistic value for you as the player uh, by you know giving you this really 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 strong secondary ability that sits with the rest of the abilities so yeah it's not that they are the only op things it's just that generically speaking they have a lot of synergy so whip it is uh, across a lot of builds and so you end up really just kind of, um, I want to say vibing with it, but you end up not really um, exploring other options sometimes. You know, a lot of people get stuck on the garlic train. You know, like, uh, we only want to run garlic, we only want to do garlic. It's like a lot of people get stuck on the magic, you know, magic book uh, train because of the fact that it provides knockback and it's so useful. Um, and it, it just depends, I don't want to say on play style because there's not like a lot of play style to these games, but it just depends on essentially what you're most comfortable with using. If you're someone who prefers to use ranged weapons and create space, then you're probably going to really enjoy using, you know, things like Inferno One, Magic Wand, uh, Clock Lance, it's also very good because of the fact that it will freeze him in place. Uh, if you're someone who doesn't want that kind of management of being careful of enemies getting close to you, you'll probably go for things like axes and garlic and you know anything that creates kind of like a shield around you so that you can obviously maneuver and kind of manifest yourself a bit better. You know, it's just going to depend really on we'll take uh, EXP. It just depends on what you're comfortable with more than... Pl I don't want to use the term play style, but... Yeah, it just depends on what you're comfortable with, really. We'll grab the stone mask, because we already have all our passives. And then we will get the coffin, and then we will jet across to the cooldown item. But our build's already uh, kind of set up, so... Yeah, we're probably going to... I don't want to say leave it here, but yeah, we'll probably go do the coffin, uh, grab our first evolution, and then probably jet back whenever we grab an evolution or something, because this build's done. Um, there's nothing really to work on here. 
ideally uh, you probably want to finish probably want to finish Santa Water first uh, just because it's the closest but I think in reality you, you probably want to finish uh, whip first for that heal uh, especially since there's a lot of these suicide bombers uh, well these these are uh, what can you say these uh, kamikaze fiends basically uh, we're gonna build into garlic as well just because um, you yeah, know it's really nice for the knockback, and we seem to have enough damage uh, overall. So yeah, but in general, I think this build's pretty well set up to accommodate what's going to come with it uh, and the next couple phases, uh, especially since we have that Ren a Rendasmo, the card that creates uh, allows our projectiles to freeze. As you can see, the magic wand, uh, the freezing is actually really nice and really good in certain situations we're going to take crown again uh, to keep beefing up our XP because uh, we want to hit level 80 as well so there's a lot we want to do here uh, but ideally ultimately at the end of the day uh, we're pretty good to go uh, I'd say we're going to clear this coffin uh, get hopefully our first or well, probably won't get our first evolution for a while so we'll probably just clear this coffin and then I'll just start reporting back in if we get an evolution. Uh, you know, keep it nice and simple. And yeah, it helps It helps with uh, editing the videos, you know. It's, it makes it a bit more of a cohesive experience, I find. Especially once you run through the build. Kind of like no reason to continue talking about, you know, like... Um, so, well, yeah, there's, there's no real reason to continue... Uh, kind of like talking into space about nothing when everyone knows the gist of what's happening here yeah. um, We're really happy with the build. I would reckon we're probably uh, quite up there with overall build happiness uh, It's now just cleaning up getting the levels and yeah, ultimately securing ourselves the W uh, Magic wand area I'll go area Because um, area benefits uh, a couple of our abilities, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll go area, uh, fire wand, whip, fire wand. Let's go fire wand. Let's just finish all the weapons off, and then we'll probably focus on the passives. We don't need any specific passive anymore. We're we're quite comfortable. So we'll just go weapons, 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 and then we should be fine. Especially Magic Wand, that's by far our highest damage dealer, so... Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, Scent Water. Then they'll boss, come the boss at 10 minutes, uh, which is good. Then hopefully we'll beat him. And then we should be good. Um, I don't really see us having... Yeah, you know, we'll take Duplicator, because it'll benefit four items rather than just one. Yeah, I don't really see... I'm not foreseeing any huge issues right now. Uh, I think we're quite good in terms of just overall kind of build. Uh, I think we'll get the clear here and then really start to be able to look, you know, towards the victory. And level 80, that's kind of the only things we have left here, uh, I think. So pretty good stuff, honestly. I uh, should have saved this. Should not have opened that. It's a rookie error. But we have unlocked uh, Po Retro. Uh, we have unlocked a new character. I can't remember who this is. Uh, Giovanna Carana. Is she new? I, don't, I do not remember her. Maybe they changed the art. Yeah, uh, so what we'll do. We're going to start heading over to this uh, cooldown and uh, I'm going to hopefully get a couple, ooh, yeah, I see, there we go. That's that chip damage from those 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 guys that run in, um, very, very annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, we'll probably skip ahead and just, yeah, grab, grab ourselves in the moment. And hook ourselves up some really, really nice uh, kind of rewards here. Uh, so I will see you guys in a bit. 
So I know this is literally like probably 30 seconds onwards, but we ended up getting uh, two big chests. Uh, so we got our first, which should be Santa Water's Evolution. Uh, we're perfect into Holy Water or Labora, uh, which is great. So that's uh, first one. And then we got this purple chest, which I believe is our Randasmo. Okay, perfect. Uh, and here we only have one other one. So uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, pretty good now. So that's both of them, I believe. And yeah, now we're definitely going to move across to the other side uh, and see what happens. But yeah, basically a nice one. Cool. Right, we are going to secure another evolution. This one will be magic one. Nope, no, nope, apparently it will not. Uh, oh, we cannot evolve magic one yet. Uh, rookie error by myself. Uh, so yes, uh, that's yeah, that's wow. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's yeah, that that doesn't look good for me. Um, wow, that's ooh. I feel I feel really bad actually. Um, I was quite confident to secure the clip, and now mm, interesting. Let's put it that way. Okay, well, we almost will just kind of sit and gain level 53, and hopefully that will give us. There we go. Perfect. Now this one should be fire wand evolution perfect okay so we did get an evolution eventually cool uh, now we're ready to go i totally uh, knew that was gonna happen easy peasy okay so we're back uh minute 19 getting our bloody tear uh, which is great so now we're able to heal and we're pretty much done. Uh, we do have duplication, or we do have the lightning ring uh, upgrade, which will come uh, once we finish that. But yeah, we're pretty much uh, ready to go. We could probably do the standstill method uh, right now, but I feel like getting the cooldown reduction and kind of sweeping house and, and yeah, finishing this level and getting the W in, in the library. Uh, getting a triple kill here with the coffin, with the coffin, the level 80, and of course, uh, as well, getting. Now, oh wait, no, there is a triple threat somewhere. Coffin, level 80, and the clear, of course, and the win. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much there. Okay, we're grabbing our second to last evolution. Ooh, and it's a big boy chest. I think it could be two and one. Could it be? Uh, yeah, I think it will be. It, it has to be two and one. Oh my god, it's a quadruple chest. It's hit it. No, a quintuple chest. Ooh, that's one upgrade. Okay, but still, one upgrade and a thousand gold. Thunder loop. Boom, baby. So now we are just about to secure oh, silly me we still cannot evolve <laughs> we still cannot evolve magic wand i don't know why i keep doing that uh, but yeah uh, we will be able to very soon there's another box but i don't think we can open this one yeah no um this run is done easy 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 w uh, which is cool it's always nice to get the easy dub and yeah, no more randasmo boxes, so we should also get the 5k challenge done as well. So we're getting a lot done in this one. Okay, we are about to grab the last upgrade. Uh, 23 minutes in, pretty much on the dot. And this should be the final upgrade. Yep, magic wand. And now we are just going to sit still. Um, because there's nothing left to do. We are 10 levels away from level 80. Uh, we should hit that. I'll probably record that if it doesn't happen near the end. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, we, we killed this run. Easy, easy peasy. So we've been standing in place for a while now. Uh, and we're going to go just clean up all of this EXP. Um, it'll cost us a little bit of health. But we're not too concerned about it. Uh, we want to get as much EXP as possible, and then we crack level 80. Awesome. Uh, we're now a couple. Uh, we a 
come on. There we go. Perfect. And now only a couple, um, I was going to say levels away, but and money away, uh, but we did it anyway. So that's uh, five and a half thousand gold. Excellent. And we'll also grab this. Pretty much guaranteeing us 6k, um, basically. 140 short. And, oh, there we go. And yeah, um, this pretty simple run, honestly speaking. Uh, we don't need to move or claim anything. Uh, we've done pretty much everything we need. We'll, you know what, we'll hit level 100 just, just, just for the YOLOs. Um, this very clean run, uh, kind of coming back to the whole, you know, garlic kind of thing. Uh, yeah, ultimately at the end of the day, garlic just really is probably the easiest kind of ability to set up. It's great early game for that first kind of 10 minute window. And it just allows you to set up your build. Even without maxing out garlic, uh, you still see a ton of use from it. And then by the time you hit late game, uh, it has fallen off, but you yourself uh, have added so much into your build. It almost doesn't matter. It will still continue to provide mini stuns and knockbacks and just create a space around you that ultimately at the end of the day is pretty free and safe uh, for you to kind of operate out of. So yeah, it's, it's really good. And as we near the final uh, 30 seconds here, uh, yeah, pretty sweet ride. Um, a good victory, lots of missions done, and I think ultimately at the end of the day, a really, really, really fun run. Uh, Poe remains to be so good in so many stages, and definitely the first two, Mad Forest and then the Library, uh, he really, really, really takes this as an opportunity to shine, uh, which I think is awesome. But yeah. That's that's the victory. The Reaper is going to come for us uh, now. There we go. But you know what? Very decent. And a lot of achievements done there. Six in total. Uh, Carvalho. Find and open a coffin. Excellent. New stone mask. Awesome. So that's a new ability. 5,000 coins in one run. We got the Mario. Then we get level 50. This gives us a whole new Rendasmo to select. And now we can finally get Banish, which we will be getting uh, because Banish is crucial to playing this game. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Really, really good stuff. Uh, nice to have Poe done. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.